Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to the middle-aged expat. I am, of course, him, Richard. Uh, today is a beautiful day. It's October. The sun is shining. The leaves are slightly turning a little bit. And uh, so what better day to safely go to a haunted schoolhouse? Yes, today we are going to be by in Hokkaido, where there's apparently a very uh, scary, scary abandoned schoolhouse. So let's go and take a look. So we're actually stopped in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I don't know where we are. Uh, look at the background as I'm twirling. Uh, of course, we stopped off at a 7-Eleven. Uh, I needed to pee, of course, and uh, pick up a couple of road snacks because I don't know what there is to eat close by to where we're going because even that's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, so yeah, we a quick stop at 7-Eleven and uh, we're gonna continue on and uh, hopefully not die. One thing I forgot to mention, uh, we are 56 minutes away, so we're about halfway there, and uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, am I worried about this trip? No, not really. I think my wife might be a little bit, as I look to my left. Uh, but for me, no, this is uh, no problem. No problem. I'm a mother ghostbuster, yo. I can't believe I just said that. So we've more or less arrived um, to the general location. The school, you can no longer get to it by car. Uh, the, the road that leads up to it has been overgrown. So we're going to have to uh, foot it to get there. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm getting excited. I'm finally here. See, you don't realize I've been wanting to do this before I even got to Hokkaido. This has been on my list for a while now. And now it's finally time. So we're, we're going to take a walk. We're going to. Uh, find that school and uh, we're going to see what all the uh, is all about. So the story behind this uh, haunted school is pretty simple. Uh, it was built in, this round schoolhouse was built in I think the 1940s or 50s and <clears throat> in the mid to late 70s it suddenly shut down uh, without any explanation given. Of course, that leads to speculation of problems. Um, so the school is empty, it's abandoned, and so people start investigating, taking a look, seeing what's going on, as I'm trying to not get lost here. Um, and of course, suddenly ghost stories start happening. Um, people start seeing black things, hearing things coming from the school, you know, that sort of thing. Um, some have been said to have gone mad after going to this place going con crazy so uh, you know, I'm already there so uh, that's that's the brief story behind it and so yeah that's why I'm here to go check it out it's uh, listed as one of the top uh, haunted places in Japan so I think it's like the only one in Hokkaido so that's why I'm here to do it and uh, we're not lost yet but uh, it's getting a little thick hard to get to but we carry on so I can see it it's been a uh, bitch to get to Fuck. We're going through a lot of trees. There is no discernible path to get there, so we're fighting our way through. But we're almost there, and I'm feeling a little warm. You know, you know how you know there's supposed to be ghosts and stuff like that. You get that chill. Yeah, I don't have that right now. I'm too damn hot. We've made our way here, and it's uh, not all what I was hoping for. Um, yeah, this is, I'm not even, yeah, I'm not even. Uh, there's, it's basically a moat around the school now. Um, you can't get in unless you got some rubber boots on, which uh, I uh, didn't bring. Um, it looks like the school has sunk a little bit. So the mysteries as to why uh, the school closed down, I'm starting to figure it out. It's, um, it wasn't built in a good spot, period. Um, there's no way in right now. It's all soaking wet. Uh, there's a moat around the bloody thing. And, um, yeah. 
there's that mystery solved. It's uh, <laughs> you can't get in. Um, it's too wet in this area. There's probably probably found an underground uh, stream or something that was slowly causing damage to the school. And uh, yeah, so now it's just a empty building with broken windows. I see some spray paint on the inside, and it's just dead. Huh. That's the, that's truly disappointing. I was hoping to go inside and see stuff and, you know, but it's just all wet and sunk in. So I appear to have found what was probably the gymnasium or something, or maybe for food, I have really no idea. Uh, but there's another building here. Um, it's still filled with water. I can't really get walk around inside, but I can at least get a little bit closer to it. It's not surrounded by a moat. Um, but there's something here, definitely for sure. Now, I can't honestly say I feel anything remotely haunted or creepy at this, about this place. It just looks, uh, just forgotten about, left behind. So we made it back to the car, and, uh, I'm not gonna say this whole trip was a bust. It was, um, it was fun. The uh, haunted schoolhouse, uh, isn't haunted? I don't know. I couldn't get inside. Uh, did I feel anything creepy as I got close? No, not really. Did I hear any funny noises? No. Any om ominous black shapes? No. Uh, it seems like a bit of a bust that way. Um, it was kind of cool to see, don't get me wrong. Um, I don't regret coming. Um, but it was, uh, it just wasn't all I was hoping for, I guess. Uh, so what do you think? Uh, are you, uh, are you a believer of the ghosts and the spiritual? Uh, do you think maybe that place is haunted and maybe, uh, it was a government conspiracy to put water around the school so people can't go in? I don't know. Uh, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And, uh, of course, I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.